Shut up and sit down. Greetings, fellow travelers. Oblix here, back with you today from Project Ozone 3. How's everybody doing up in here today? So, last time we worked on some immersive engineering with this thermo thermoelectric generator, presser, coke oven, blast furnace, all the normal things. But today, we're going to be working back over here at the mob farm. So, we need to address the elephant in the room, and I've been putting it off long enough. We need to deal with these stupid bags that I do not like. So right now, we've just got them going into this chest. This chest is then shoving them off into that trash can right there, and then go away forever. But uh, some of them do have some loot we might want, so we want to go ahead and process these today. and Or set up a system to process these, open the bags, and feed the goodies back into our system. This is going to require us to expand our storage system beyond what it is now. I'll probably kick it off that way and that way maybe. I'm not real sure. Depends on how many items we're going to get. Uh, different items. And we're going to need a lot of filtering because there's going to be a lot of garbo we just don't want. Records and beds and stuff I've already seen that it's like, yeah, we don't want that crap. Let's just throw it in the trash can. So, so uh, let's get a system set up. We're going to need... A loot bag. Well, let's see. It's from the mod loot bag. Let's do that. There we go. We're going to need a loot bag opener. This guy. So we need a chest, some silver, and some lapis. So let's go get all that. All right. A chest, lapis, and silver acquired. I think I over grabbed on the silver. But that's fine. And we got us a bag opener. So let's go see what this guy will do. All right, back over here at the mob farm. If we place this little guy down, we can see he's got a top set of slots and a bottom set of slots. You put the bag in the top slot, it'll open it, and put the goodies down in the bottom slot. So let's grab a couple of these, toss them in. You see it does have a cool down period, and then it will pull out the, the goodies. So stuff like bones we want. Yeah, spider eyes don't really care, but we'll break even. But pumpkin seeds, I don't need those. We'll toss those in the trash. Um, we get a lot of these constellation papers. We'll probably throw those in the trash too. So what we want to do is set up a way to pull the bags out of here, stop sending them to the trash, run them through here, filter out the garbo we don't want down this path here, ending up with just stuff we do want, and then put it in here like so. But we do temporarily kind of want to hold things to see how many items we're going to want to keep. Uh, that way we can add the appropriate number of barrels to you know, fill out our system. So I think let's... Um, well, first let me start by moving all these out of the way. Alright, we've got, got some room to work here. Let's go ahead and plop this guy down. Oh, I want to leave ourselves lots of room. Maybe over here somewhere. Yeah, we'll just line them up with that. And we're going to place our first sorting chest here. And then we're going to come over and do like so. And I don't know how many we're going to actually need. But down here at the end, we're going to have uh, our final. Actually, we got enough chests. Let's just go ahead and place them down. just for our purposes, a go into the system and a throw in the trash chest. Perfect. Now we're going to need some of these. Let's go ahead and light up the middles here like so. This is going to make it so we can't get through here anymore, which kind of sucks. Probably get in there before I close this off. Uh, okay. And we're going to need some swervos. Hopefully I have enough. Ooh, can I get in there? No. 
Oh, I guess I can still get in here. Nice. I can jump on there. Make sure we get these on the right side. Alright, we're going to need to turn all these on. Like it is so. Now these don't need to be the faster ones. I'm not looking for speed out. I just want more sort space. Which is why we're going to use the bigger ones. Okay. So anything this guy processes is now going to get sucked down this line and end up down there. Um, and in fact, I think we're going to turn this one off to start with. We're just going to set them to high. That way items are going to stop right here. Now, let's um, go ahead and break this. Like it is so. We're getting some bags in there. Just make sure no cables in there. There we go. So we should be able to take this down like so. Which should now start sending bags in here, get them processed. And then send all the bits from the bags over here. Which it did. Perfect. Okay, so from here we need to decide our first set of what do we want to keeps and what do we want to chunks. And I need a centralized chunk it line. You, come on. You can do it. You can do it. There we go. Uh, so here's going to be our centralized chunk it line. And we just want to carry this up and over all the way. And I do need to break out our crescent hammer and turn those off. Excellent. Now I should probably leave myself away in and out because that is not high enough by taking it up one more block over here somewhere. Most likely down around here. So we'll bump it up by one There we go. Oh, that sound is horrible. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm thinking let's take this one out. We'll go ahead and move it one more over just so I have enough room to get over, but yeah, that'll work. Come on. There we go. So what I can do now is... Pop these in here. Connecting the chest up to the dump line. Excellent. And now in the event I need even more, I can always do this. And that'll work too. You know, effectively doubling and then I can put another one on the other side and even triple uh, the amount of dumpage we have going on which will be great what I'm not going to have enough of is these here delete them alls that's okay we'll worry about that in a minute so lots of garbo what do we want to dump well this first one why don't we dump records Let's put these in here as well, because those are items we pulled out from the last one. Now each record is going to be seen differently. And we have a mix of nuclear craft and Minecraft. So it's probably best that we just sort each one independently. We can do some fancy things with you know, MBT and metadata. We're going to whitelist them here. And we're going to blacklist them here. So blacklist them from passing. Those are the same disk. 
And we're going to whitelist them in there. So if we put them back in, turn that on, they should all disappear. Of course, they're just going right over here and ending up down here because I forgot to put a... I need servos on all these. Dang it. Okay. There we go. We're going to need some more servos. So I need to make four more servos. And there's where they wound up. Okay. So I need to make some more servos. Yeah, let me go do that. Alright, coming back in with a few more servos. Let's pump those in like so. Boom. We're going to need them anyway. So I've put the records back over here. Turn that on. There's only one place they can go. So they should pull out of here and zip over there. Perfect. So we did get a new record in that time. Let's go ahead and pop him in. Actually, let's put him there and put him there. And now he's gone. Perfect. So now we just have 82,000 other items to process. Ooh, ooh staff of traveling. Nice. Uh, some stuff like this, we just want to go straight down the line. So I want to start pulling out items I know I want to keep. Uh, like these overgrowth seeds, uh, the rib bones, our dim parslet. Or dim, dim lit parcels, good grief. Uh, we're already saving Friend of Pearls, Hearts, Vol Manor. We know we want all those. Uh, we'll keep the apples just because, why not? Gunpowder, iron, gold, we're keeping all this stuff. Slime Pearls, definitely, definitely. Redstone for sure. More hearts. Uh, pizza, chocolate, marshmallows, bones, we're already saving all that. Uh, coal, I think we're keeping. String, I know we're keeping. The beaks. So what I'm going to do is put all this stuff into the we're going to keep it list. And this tells me to go ahead and make sure all that stuff comes out of here and into there. Okay, let's go ahead and make filters for seeds we don't want. Melons, beetroots, all that mess. So we're going to come over here and make this our seed remover. So we're going to blacklist those three seeds. And we're going to whitelist them here. And just dumping them in here. They should zip away. Perfect. So more seeds, Giga Pickles. We don't need those. Pumpkins and melons and beetroots we already have. So we definitely don't need more Giga Pickles. We already have all those be gone. Now what I can do is turn this one off, turn this one on, it's going to take everything from here and send it over to here, but it's going to process anything it can process. So all those records and things are going to get processed, as well as all the seeds. So everything we're already processing out isn't going to make it this far. Horse armor, can we we can. So the question was, can we smelt it? Yes, we can. So can we smelt the gold? We can. So we could send these over into our smelter if we wanted to. So we could build one of these filters to take them around over to here. We just need to get it into this chest right here. Uh, we're getting a little congested over here. We could come in right here. Hmm. I don't think it's really worth it just for a nugget. So 
I think we'll go ahead and dump the horse armor as well. In as well as the samplings. So samplings can be gone. We'll put those with the seeds. Horse armor, we'll stick with the records. Ender sword and these conduit probes, I don't want those. I think we'll come down here for those. Again, we'll turn that off. Turn that on, and that on. Um, <laughs> dang it. <laughs> we we might have flushed a lot of items. Oh well. Uh, I think we can go ahead and get rid of lava charms as well. We have a thousand of them. Not really, but we have a lot of them. Ooh, we didn't... Glad we didn't lose our shulker. I'm going to go ahead and pull him out. I don't want a chance of losing him. Ah, these capacitors can be good, but they can also be garbage. And they don't stack, so they're a bit of a pain to deal with. Books. Ooh. Arc Furnace Electrode. We'll go ahead and pull that out, and we don't need to keep any more. So, you only ever need one. Ooh, nice mending book. So we may do an offshoot somewhere with just the books, and store them in an alternate storage system. Alright, I went ahead and set up an offshoot for books, and I've just got a whole bunch of these small storage crates stood up here. Uh, and this is where they're going off. To show you how I did that, we're just whitelisting them with uh, ignore and ignore, and any old enchanted book will do. So they should all, regardless of mod, be sent over here. We have some from COFH, Minecraft, Abyssalcraft, Coral Tombstone, so... Ender.io, it's getting all the ones from all the different mods, so that's working out nicely. Uh, that'll give me a little spot to come and dig out enchanted books when I want them. Come on. You can do it. No, you can't. Come on. Ugh. So, yeah, no, it's going to nearest first, so it'll fill up the bottom, then this one, and uh, up and up. What I should probably do... is take it from the top up here and just run it in the trash that way we don't uh, overflow so i can do like this and like this so once it fills up that top storage crate it's just going to dump it in the trash so we won't get any overflows all right, we need to set up the pipe into the system, so we're just going to bring it over from here, like so. And use our crescent hammer to break these connections. Excellent, so it should be a straight shot from there into there. And we're just going to pop that on there, like so. Now, before we can actively start using this... Uh, let's make it an empty hand. Uh, we need to go make storage space for all these things we don't have. And possibly hard wheat sticks. Mm -hmm. There's some really weird things you can get in here. Uh, like these MREs that are technically three different MREs. But they're really, really good. So I think what we do is we let them flow down to here. Anything that can go in here will. Anything that can't will just sit here. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Oops, I'm short a... 
boom. All these are on. All these are off. Theory, it should be fine. Only one way to find out. Let it all flow. So you can see some stuff flying through. And this is stuff we already have spaces for. So this is going to give us a good idea of stuff of space stuff we don't have space for. Um, actually, obsidian I don't want to keep because we already have a machine that makes obsidian. So it's like, what's the point? So I think I will bump blocks off right here. So this will be, yep, we'll blacklist it there, whitelist it there. Oop, I'm gonna turn it on, and obsidian should disappear. Sand. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind keeping some sand. I mean, I'm still having to make it now. You know, I just kind of make it on demand kind of deal. Lapis, we already have a machine that makes it, but it never hurts to have more. All right, so all this we want to keep. So we're going to need a barrel for each one of these items. Yeah, and of course we're going to have to zhuzh them up, make them look nice. So I guess let me get all these counted up, get this expanded, and uh, we'll talk again in a moment. All right, so here's what we ended up with. Uh, it is quite massive. Um, so we added three rows on each side, and then I went ahead and took out the stairs and added from, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, across the top, and did that over here as well. So this is now all the items that our mob farm is producing, which is insane. So if I subtract the four that haven't filled in yet, that's 101 items that we are producing out of this mob farm. And that is not counting the books, so I guess you could technically say 102? Unless you want to count each enchantment individually, which I don't know why you would, but you could. Um, I did see one we definitely don't want in here. Yeah, you can go away. No need for you here. Be gone. But uh, yeah, so we got a nice little source of books. It's not going to be super fast. Um, it'll be reasonable. I mean, we can turn up the farm a little bit. With one quarter of the farm lit, like we talked about a couple episodes ago, it is keeping up. You know, But if I turn on all four sides, it definitely backs down. These, these uh, are just not fast enough pipes to handle the, the workload. So we're definitely going to need to uh, upgrade those at some point. But this will get the job done. And I do think it looks reasonable. I uh, would love to get this attached into a storage system at some point down the road. So that uh, we can easily access all of these amazing resources. But I do think that's going to do it for this episode. So sure do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. As always, and until next time. You guys, get out there, make some noise. See ya!